Hi everyone, thanks for people left turn. Welcome back to the Jack's Left channel and welcome back to our continuing series, Vision in Transition. This is part three of Vision in Transition and we're gonna talk about money, the Jacksonville Riverfront, and what's gonna happen with the Jacksonville Landing. There's a lot that's at stake and we're gonna talk about some history too. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. I'd like to look back at first, at 1960. Uh, you know, as you can see, you can see the Main Street Bridge when you could, back in those days, you could drive straight into town without using ramps. And as you can see, there was no Friendship Park. There was no Jacksonville Landing. You can see the, uh, back then it was called the Seaboard uh, Building. Now it's uh, CSX Building. And then that's on the North Bank. And then on the South Bank, of course, you can see one of our older skyscrapers, a Prudential Building. Now this is a picture of downtown Jacksonville before the Jacksonville landing and all that was right there uh, where the landing is today was a parking lot. Uh, and you can see at the time the newly opened Independent Life Building uh, that's now the Wells Fargo uh, Tower. So, uh, and then also you can see those ramps that are under construction uh, uh, going uh, off the Main Street Bridge. There's a lot that's happening right now in Jacksonville. Uh, this is a picture of the Jacksonville Landing from not that long ago. And uh, the Jacksonville Landing's been through a lot. And what I'd like to do is uh, talk with you about a little bit about the landing and where things are at, and we can take it from there. So I remember the first week that the Jacksonville Landing opened. Uh, it was in June of 1987. I went down to the landing with my family and enjoyed a lot of the upscale retail uh, shops and restaurants. It was really the place to be. Uh, it was, you could call it the St. John's Town Center of its time. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would spend a lot of time uh, with my family down at the landing. My dad really enjoyed going down out onto the river. And we would we would check out some of the different places, uh, different shops, the um, Banana Republic, which was a uh, clothing store, Sharper Image, which was a kind of a high-tech gadget store, uh, and we'd eat in the food court, uh, and uh, on different events like New Year's, Fourth of July, we'd go out onto the river with a big crowd and uh, have some fun. But you know what, though? It's not all about the fun. You know, we, uh, we folks here in Jacksonville can have the fun, but there's a lot that's at stake. Ever since before the founding of the uh, uh, city of Jacksonville, money has been made on the river and a lot's at stake. Money, uh, uh, big money, uh, is involved right now. It was involved in the development on the river that we've seen uh, uh, in the past, and it's gonna be a big factor, of course, in what's gonna replace the landing. There's talk about replacing the landing, uh, and uh, you can see uh, how much is out on the river from all of the, the building that's happened over the years. And, you know, when there's big money involved, Big money gets involved in politics. And, you know, all that money that, that goes uh, towards the uh, mayoral campaign, you know, that's not just to buy campaign buttons and make people feel good. Uh, people expect results. Now, this is um, uh, big money people expect results. Now, you'll see a little bit of this, this film. This was shot back in March of uh, 2014. And uh, so you'll get a chance to kind of see some of the marina aspects and some of what was there in March of 14 and, and the way things look. And not much really, of course, has changed since then. Uh, so all these big decisions are going to be made. And there's a big ruckus right now with the Jacksonville Planning Commission, uh, a city councilwoman. They're trying to throw her off the uh, Jacksonville Planning Commission and a gentleman named Joey McKinnon. They're trying to throw him off the Planning Commission, not allowing him and her to finish their terms. Why? Well, you know, I call Mayor Lenny Curry an empty suit. You know, the people behind Lenny Curry, they want some big development out on the river and they have their friends and their people. Now, let's look at uh, what the ideas of the future for the landing are gonna be. Uh, incredibly underwhelming, uh, incredibly, um, really vague in concept uh, and uh, it doesn't look like a lot. I don't know. It looks like a community college campus, if you ask me. Uh, 
or some sort of, you know, just a lack of imagination office buildings that you could see out in Bay Meadows anywhere. Yet this is supposed to be, these are the ideas that they're presenting to us for the river in this area. And, you know, the landing is going obsolete uh, and uh, it's old uh, and it's not been, I've been in the landing the past couple of years and it's very depressing. Uh, at one point it was managed by a big firm called Rouse. Uh, and, but over the years, the, some of the higher end stores like Sharper Image, Banana Republic, the, the stores that I grew up in and really enjoyed, like to check out, I go in and check out, uh, gone. Uh, and, and a guy, uh, a, you know, a big kind of land real estate magnate named Tony Slayman took it over uh, after a period of time. So now we're kind of waiting on things to see what happens. But I'll tell you one thing, money does talk, but as I've said in previous uh, episodes, Money can, uh, money talks, but money can't sing and money can't dance. So, all right. So, I hope that you enjoy, have enjoyed this, uh, this film. Uh, and I hope it's brought up some ideas for you. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.